Hello, this is Mark from Mountain Elegance. Uh, this bit is not finished yet, but this is the video to kind of show how to assemble these staggered uh, whitewashed beds. Uh, we're, we're in the process of uh, sanding this off for a customer. Uh, but basically I'm gonna show you, um, and you can see the other video about the backing plate, but these are a little bit different. These are recycled boards that come out of houses, so they're gonna have some screw holes in them already, and I'll show you an example. Uh, these are some screw holes uh, that was prior uh, to us doing any construction on this bed. So what you don't want to do is put any screws in here. It's just the nature of the recycled wood that you're going to see some of those, and that kind of gives it that appearance. Uh, but once you get all this laid out, uh, and it's easy to lay out, each board is marked. Sometimes we'll put a tag, and sometimes we'll put like a handwritten thing. I think these are handwritten. I'm going to flip this over. As you can see, this board, I'm going to go over here where you can see it. It's just handwritten. It says top board, and it's got up, and that's if you're looking from the back, and then it's got left and right. So this would be the top board, and you would just lay it out. Um, excuse me, I have a hand over the camera. Sorry about that. You would just lay this top board out on this backing plate, and you would put it about the same distance from each side. Uh, and that's what I've done with this entire bed. And then you would just stagger. So this one would have the, this would be the top board. And then the next board, you would have a straight board here and then a staggered board and a straight board and so on until you get out to the end. But you just wanna make sure you got the same distance from here over to this leg as you do on the other side over there. And you can take a tape measure and do that. And you can kind of tell by the holes once you get um, kind of all of it laid out you will see um, they kind of should line up in order. They may be a little bit off. Um, and again, I've not got this one done yet, but uh, you would just, the main thing is to line up these edges right here to where it looks like that right there and have the same distance on this side right here. Then you would just take your wood screws and put them down through this backing plate right here to attach it. Um, and again, they may be a little bit um, off on this bed because I'm not finished with it, but you know, this is the way you would actually line them up, you, just like that, to make sure they're in a straight line up to there like that. And then it would be the same way in the middle. They all should line up with that, those backing plates, uh, upright boards. So if you have any questions, it's pretty simple. You just gotta make sure that, start with the top, and it would say top board, it would say up, and then a left and a right side so you know which one is which you go down to the second board from the top third board from the top the fourth board from the top fifth sixth and seventh according to how big the bed is and this would be pretty much what it looks like when you get it all laid out and i would just say don't put any screws in it till you get it laid out correctly i want to get you a tape measure make sure it's the same distance on the top it's probably about two inches from the top down to that backing rail and it's probably about four or five inches on each side. Uh, again, it's kind of not an exact thing because it's kind of a rustic bed, uh, but the measurements should be close. Uh, this one, like I said, is not done. We're still doing some cutting and sanding on this one. But this is the general idea. Now I've got another video and I'll send you a link if you purchase one of these to the backing plate. They're simple to put together with a bit driver that we include. It usually takes about, only about 10 minutes. Uh, actually, I'll take a show you right there is one of the backing plates that we're working on now. Um, that goes to a bed just like this. So uh, I'll send you a photo of that if you need it and you can see how it goes together. And you just lay that on the floor. It takes about 15 or 20 minutes with that bit driver to put this together. It makes a great looking bed when you're done. Um, if you need to attach it to the wall, I have a video that shows you how to do that. Uh, you can buy a drill bit and uh, some um, uh, wall attachments or anchors for drywall. It just takes a few minutes or you can attach it to your bread frame uh, By default, we do not drill those holes uh, Unless somebody gives us specific uh, directions uh, About the measurements of their bed. Uh, typically we don't do that at all uh, Nobody really requests that they usually want to either just slide the bed up and let the gravity of the bed hold it up against the wall Or you know, they can attach it themselves um, There's too much room for Ura uh, unless we sell you the freestanding frame and we know the measurements on that and that's what we suggest to everybody that they buy but typically we don't sell a lot of those because people has already has their own frame 
But again, if you've got any questions, give me a message. My name is Mark. Just send it on Etsy, and we'll answer back with just in maybe 24 hours or less. I sure appreciate it. Thank you.